Notably, at 32 nodes, PRDBMP achieved an impressive throughput of 90.1 million TPMC, which is 28 times the throughput of the single node. Hello everyone, this is Yin Qiang Zhang from Alibaba Cloud. This paper presents a multi-primary cloud native database via disaggregated shared memory, namely PolarDBMP. Nowadays, there is a growing dimension for multi-primary cloud native database that support right scale and high availability, and also enable the potential for the serverless database. The two most popular multi-primary architecture are shared nothing and shared storage. The shared nothing architecture often suffer from the distributed transaction mechanisms. Additionally, when the system needs to scale out or in, data may need to be repartitioned. The shared storage architecture is essentially the opposite, where all data is accessible for all nodes. DB2 Pure Skill and Oracle Rack are the two traditional database based on shared storage architecture. They are usually deployed in their dedicated machine and usually have much higher total cost of ownership than modern cloud native database. Aurora MM and Taurus MM are the recently proposed cloud native multi primary databases, but they still struggle with performance in high conflict scenario often due to expensive conflict resolution and uh, inefficient data fusions. To overcome these issues, we propose PolarDBMP, leveraging disaggregated shared memory to address the challenges. This figure gives an overview of PolarDBMP. PolarDBMP inherits the disaggregated shared storage model from PolarDB, allowing all primary nodes equal access to the storage. This ensures a transition to be processed in a node without resorting to distributed transactions. The core component of the Polar DBMP is Polar Multi Primary Fusion Server, namely PMFS, which is built on this aggregated shared memory. Polar DBMP also manages right hand log across multiple nodes, establish a partial order for logs from different nodes and design a new recovery policy based on this framework. In the next few slides, I will respectively introduce these designs. Firstly, we introduce the transaction fusion. PolarDBMP employs a timestamp oracle, TSO, for transaction order. The TSO is accessed by via uh, one-side RDMA operations, typically complete with several microseconds, this operation has not been found to be a bottleneck in our test. Another design of transaction fusion is the decentralized transaction information. Each node in PolarDBMP reserve a small portion of memory to store its local transaction information. A node can remotely access other nodes' transaction information via one-side RDMA. TIT plays a crucial role in managing transactions by maintaining these three fields for each transaction, pointer, CTS, and versions. The pointer is the transaction object pointer. CTS marks the transaction's commit timestamp. Versions identify different transactions in the same slot. The transaction's TIT slot can be free when the when its changes are visible for all other transactions. With this design, when a transaction begins, it first allocated a free slot from TIT. As TIT slot can be reused, the version field differentially transaction occupying the same slot at a different time, incrementing with each new transaction. To globally identify a transaction, PolarDBMP combined the node ID, transaction ID, and the slot ID, and the version into the global transaction ID. When a transaction modifies a record, it will store the current global transaction ID in the record's metadata. When committing a transaction, it updates the CTS in the metadata of the records affected by the, that transaction, providing these records are still in the buffer. In this design, 
give a record, we can get its commit timestamp with TIT. If the record CTS is filled with a value value, not the initialized value, it can directly get the CTS from record. But in some case, where the record CTS is not filled, typically because the record is evicted from the buffer upon transaction commit, the TIT is used to acquire the CTS of the record. It needs to first retrieve the transaction ID from the record's metadata. Then it can get the corresponding TIT slot with this G transaction IDs. Next, we will discuss the buffer fusion part. In PolarDB MP, each node can update any date page, leading to frequent transfers of page between different nodes. To facilitate the fast cross-node data movement, PolarDB MP proposed buffer fusion, where node push its date page to buffer fusion's distributed buffer pool. And subsequently, another node can then access the page modified by its peer from less distributed buffer pool. In this case, the page can be efficiently moved between the different nodes with low latency. Then, we introduce the lock fusion of PolarDBMP. Lock fusion implements both page locking and the rule locking protocols. Page locking is similar to the page latch in single node dead pages ensuring atomic access to page and the consistent of internal data structures. Each node keeps track of it, the lock it holds or is waiting for. Lock fusion maintains all lock information, tracking each lock states. Before performing any update or read to one page, the node must hold the corresponding exclusive or share lock. Lock fusion can handle lock requests from primary nodes checking for conflict before responding. On the other hand, rule level locking is employed to ensure transaction consistency. In PolarDBMP, where multiple transactions may run in concurrently on different nodes and potential update at the same date, so a global rule lock protocol is necessary. To reduce management traffic associated with rule locking, PolarDBMP embeds rule lock information directly within each rule and only maintain the wait for relation on lock fusion. When a transaction attempts to lock a record, it simply writes its global transaction ID into the record metadata. If the rules transaction ID field is already taken by an active transaction, a conflict is detected and the current transaction must wait. This example shows transaction 30 on node 2 is waiting for a lock hold by transaction 10 on node 1. The waiting for relation is maintained by lock fusion. Once transaction 10 on node 1 commits, it notifies lock fusion, and the lock fusion then will notify transaction 30 on node 2. In PolarDBMP, another notable challenge comes from the fact that different nodes can independently update the same page, leading to the generation of redo log across these nodes. As each redo log records the change made to a specific page, the key to recovery in this context is applying the redo log for the same page in the order that they are generated, while logs from different pages can be applied in any sequence. This understanding lead, leads to the realization that it's unnecessary to maintain a total order from all redo logs. Instead, Ordering need to be ensured only for the log corresponding to the same page. So PolarDBMP proposed logical OSN to order the log generated by different nodes. Here we use an example to show the design of logical OSN. When node 1 updating one page, it will generate the log with logical OSN and stone the logical OSN in page metadata. After node 2 gets the latest version of this page, node 2 will update its logical version to a new one and generate a log with this new logical version. So 
The logs associated with the same page are ordered as they are generated. During recovery, it only needs to apply the logs that belong to the same page in their logical ASM order. Finally, we evaluated the ParaDBMP in the Alibaba's cloud environment with different workloads and compared with Taurus MM and Aurora MM. Due to the time limits, we only discussed a few simple results. We first evaluate the ParaDBMP with a large-scale cluster used the TPCC benchmark. For this task, we configure ParaDBMP to scale up to 32 nodes, each equipped with 32 CPUs, totaling more than 1,000 CPUs. The result indicated that ParaDBMP de demonstrates near linear scalability from 1 to 24 nodes. Even when scale up to 32 nodes, despite a mirror decrease in scalability, there is a notable improvement in performance compared to the 22 nodes configuration. Notably, at the 32 nodes, ParaDBMP achieved an impressive throughput of 90.1 million TPMC, which is 28 times the throughput of the single node. We finally compare ParaDBMP with Taurus MM and Aurora MM. Our evaluation shows that ParaDBMP shows comparable performance to Taurus MM in a single node setup. However, ParaDBMP's advance become evident in multi-node setup. For example, in read-write and write-only workload, ParaDBMP throughput is respectively more than three times and more than four times that of Taurus MM in an eight-node cluster. We then compare with Aurora MM in a light conflict scenario. We can find that even with a low percent of shared date, Aurora MM shows no improvement from two nodes to four nodes. In write-only workload, two and four nodes even perform worse than a single node. This because that Aurora MM used the optimistic concurrency control, causing a high aborting ratio. In this light conflict scenario, so Taurus MM has a higher scalability than Aurora MM. It's still lag behind ParaDBMP, especially in eight node cluster. ParaDBMP is now available at Alibaba Public Cloud. You are super welcome to try it out.